Okay, should be alive now. Hopefully if everything is set up correctly. Let me just set my phone up. And there we go, I think. Um, let me just have something real fast. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. So, let's go ahead and get started with this, I guess. Some more World of Light Spiritless. Or not Spiritless, but Solomar. <laughs> Keep getting that confused, except on the title. So, we're good. Hmm. And why not? I don't know why I have so much falling immunity, but... Doesn't matter. <laughs> Ready? Go! That did so much damage. Full 11.2%. Oh no. Uh oh. That's just Nair. I mean, they're not doing that much damage, I just can't hit them because one will fireball. And so then I'm stuck in hit stun. Or, you know, stuff like this. They could just combo me with down special. And I wouldn't be able to escape it, it's a bad thing. That's why you have to have team damage on. That was a lot of shield pressure, actually. It just didn't do anything because my shield was pretty much invincible against these guys. Two for one? How did he survive? I mean, I know it's Bowser and he's heavy and all, but that's like insane. How did I not grab the fire bar? Nair again. Or not. I'll take it. Imagine doing damageless Mortal of Light. I mean, you wouldn't probably be able to do it on... I mean, unless you started out with Star, maybe. You could do, like, Star and then set up a Softlock or something. Or not a Softlock, but, um... Just do a true combo that kills. Using the Spirit. Put on lava floor. Um, let me just auto pick this. Um, how about you do a strong defensive spirit? Alright, man, I'm fine with this, honestly. What's the worst that could happen? The floor is lava, enemy has increased movement speed, they completely outrange me, they've got a ton of projectiles. Oh, you too. Oh. 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 I was playing against um a Richter in 99 stock mode. I only took like 20 stocks. I think I got it down to 79 as Falco. Because I've been working on Falco because I've done some cool stuff in training mode that I want to see if I can pull off consistently in regular Smash. And then maybe I pick up Falcon in some way. Then I would have played all Star Fox characters. But yeah, I was fighting against the Richter and figured out some strategies to avoid some of their stuff. The main problem that I have against Richters is the whip. It's not so much a projectiles. Projectiles are the easy part. Oh, you, I forgot that you could just fall down with that. Supposed to have falling immunity. Oh wait, no, I lost Raphael the Raven. That hurt. How did that work? I want to see if I can figure out how whistle works as well, because I have no idea how it actually works. If this would have been regular Smash. You would have been dead from that Richter, or I guess you're dead from that. I'll take it. Just gotta outrange the Belmonts without Pikmin, and there you go. Oh, and he's Alucard to fight. I didn't even recognize that. Oh yeah, this is only going to be a 30 minute stream, sadly. Today, just like the last few streams have been. Hopefully I have more time tomorrow. Yesterday I couldn't stream because I watched Endgame a second time. Enemies heal over time. Um, 
I mean, I'm fine with this group. I wasn't thinking of that, but it actually makes a ton of sense. Maybe. If this doesn't work, we get out the laser sword. But I feel like this will work fine. We dropped it. Oh wait, we get smash attacks now. Or at least forward smash. We also have to hit the... We have to hit the Roy. You know? Olimar, we have to hit the Roy. There we go. I need the scythe. It's like... Something good. Why did I throw it? I didn't... Like, do any throw buttons. I hit the A button. Try to do a forward smash again. Forward smash number 15. Or whatever. That killed? Okay. Yeah. I have a plan. We're not gonna use this weak spirit. We're gonna use good spirits. And we're gonna completely destroy Richter. And I'm gonna show you a giant secret that no one knows about. So first... We need... Where is it? Yeah, I'd say this one's good. Or no, wait. It's not that one. It is... No. Believe it. Yeah, it's this hero shot. And then... If you can't beat them up close, then you have to outrange them. So... We need to go here, and then we need to get a sword. Well, first we need battering items up. I did see something that increased battering items. So yeah, here we go. So, um, which one's gonna be the best for battering items? I guess this one. And we actually need the battering item itself. Which is gonna be a sword. Or I guess weapon attack? Yeah, weapon attack's the actual thing that we need. So, which one of these are going to have the sword that I need? Instant drop, staff equipped, okay, maybe, no. Well, I mean, there's fire bar, so maybe the phase saber or whatever is going to up here. Oh wait, this is by last use, not by skill. That makes sense then. Okay. But yeah, we're looking for a sword. So it's gonna be near the items. Fire flower, boomerang. The bomb's not bad. Neither is the star launch. Cause you can get people out with the star launch pretty easily. I just need to find the sword, but I can't find it. Guessing it's up here. Oh, and also we need to go get some of the Libo Spirits, because I forgot to get them. And I think the event's almost over. So I'm hoping they say after the event of Okay, so here's Killing Edge, but I don't think... If we only find... Oh wait, there's Beam Sword here. Okay. So if we don't find it in like the next three seconds, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and stop looking for it. What? Why did I throw it? Look at the range of that. It takes up the entirety of the screen. He just had to get to 6.9. Dude, he's like baiting out every one of my attacks because he knows I'm just going to go for a forward smash. Okay, yeah, there we go. Oh no, he picked up my own sword. This is not good. He uses that to extend his, um, or he used it, not uses, but he used it to extend the headlock for his, um, sweet spot. I want the phase saber. No, he picked it back up. 
Oh no, and he ate the food as well. He's just being rude at this point. Destroying the statues. I need to try and get him to attack me and then just bait out his attacks and punish. As obviously I'm very under equipped for this fight. You know, having no Pikmin, I'm at a very strong disadvantage. He survived that. Oh, I didn't know this was on the stage, actually. Okay, there we go. So I was gonna use a, uh, the second final smash if he wouldn't have died to the forward smash. And then throw the item at him if he made it back. I was gonna forward smash him. Shadow Man. The enemy favors new special and it has increased power. I read that in a separate order than what it was written, but I think we're good. Um. Why don't we just get, what's it called, the reflecting thing. I know of a character that has it, I just need to see their picture, and then we're good. It's gonna be somewhere up here, I think. Okay, so let me just go this way. Yeah, there we go, I see them, right here. I keep getting all these weak spirits recommended. I'd rather have a legendary spirit. But I mean, it's not really gonna matter in this fight. They're, they're just gonna die from themselves. This is essentially the same thing as being Fox in this fight. Victory! Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I'm just trying to get to Giga Bowser at this rate. Oh no, not this one. Okay, at least we have, um, Spirits. I remember trying to fight this one in Spiritless before I streamed Spiritless. Because I did two separate Spiritless runs. I did one that I did on stream, and I did one that I did before I started streaming Smash Ultimate. And let's just say this Spirit was definitely not the most fun. Like, imagine every bad thing about a Spirit that you could possibly imagine, and this Spirit would be worse than that. Enemy breeze fire, so that's why I got the resistance thing from the um, Franklin badge. Although, yeah, if he flare bits or flare blitzes me once, I can at least live it. You couldn't do that on um, Spiritless. Oh no, my Franklin badge fell off because I got hit once. Oh no. Nerf Charizard. What that hit me from underneath? Or I think he might have hit me, actually. Because he's massive and his nair takes up seven-eighths of the stage. Well, now you're stuck inside of there, Zard. Yep, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, I regret that decision. I actually tried to fight him. <laughs> like, I can't punish him in shield is my main thing. Because I don't have a grab. Like, I can try to spot dodge him. Like, that's what I should have done, I think. And then punish with up tilt. Or down tilt. I don't know which one would be faster. I believe up tilt's faster. Look at all this damage we're doing. Pull 28.2. As soon as the Franklin badge goes away, we're dead, by the way. Oh no. Okay, we're living. It's gonna be a repeat of what happened last time. Okay, yep, I knew it. 
It actually was. But there's nothing I can do. I literally did my best. Like, that's all I could do in that scenario. Is to hold shield. Try to get a forward tilt. If that doesn't work, then I'm dead. Ready, go. I'm just gonna leave the Pikmin on if they ever restart him. I can't land any crits, and I got a spirit that boosts my critical hits. I should have got the recommended Ready, spirits instead of go. my pick, I think. Dang it, Charizard. Continue. Gotta do this as Solomar. We're gonna be here for a while, so. This is gonna be the first boss. There's a reason I skipped this one, Spiritless. Ready, go. It's also weird doing this route in um, Solomar. Like, usually I go to um, the place where you fight that one guy from Brawl. I forgot his name, honestly. Yeah, see, that hits me through the stage. That's not good. So now I'm very dangerous. Oh, and he's got the beam sword as well. Because, you know, he wasn't already good before. Or anything. Well, now he's dead. See, that's all I needed to happen. As soon as you get hit into the or flame pillar, the person who gets hit is dead. And the thing is, I don't even get good rewards for doing this as Solomar. Because, um... I'm using the spirits. It doesn't count in Solomar. Uh, super armor? Um... Wait, what is this? Yeah, why would I... Why do I want the weak Alucard? I got one that's leveled up. Give me the good one that I have. Um, let me breathe fire. I think we go back to dark matter. Wherever they are. They're down towards the bottom of this list. Do you remember that? And they're on the left side. They could be moved to the right now after getting all these spirits. But... Yeah, they're on the right, maybe. I'm not seeing them. Well, maybe I went down too far. Ooh, Vincent. They're just battering items. Yo, I don't see them. Cause this is just side. Where's someone that gives you... Uh, I don't know. I think we can just this. Okay, yeah, there we go. That works. I just had to get it eventually and then we're good. What game is this from? Oh, Kid Icarus. Did I fight this one in Spiritless? I think I had to. Oh, I probably just camped him out while the curry was active. I mean, I kind of just encountered the Black Hunt in general with um the thing active like it is. See, now he can't attack me except from above. Now I have an active hitbox in my face. And then his active hitbox turns into my active hitbox because of the Franklin badge. Man, that lasted for a long time. Is the Franklin badge gone? I think it is. He just lives that. We're gonna get hit by the final smash too, that's the problem. I think we can live the final smash, I'm not sure though. That thing takes up the entirety of the stage. So did the final smash. That actually took up 7 eighths of the stage. Yeah, I held in. Nothing I could do. But yeah, I, that 
Final Smash actually took up 7 eighths of the stage. Like I said, Charizard Tenere did. But that took it a step too far. And then he hit me with Forward Smash at the beginning. Why? I guess because he can. It's like the only move he can hit me with. Outspeed this with your grab. That's what I thought. I keep hitting R to do the spin, like in, um... I figured out what game it was from. It was from New Super Mario Brothers. Where you hit the right bumper to spin. Or I think you can use the left, too. I just use the right. And I also use the right trigger. It's my preferred side. Yeah, get bodied. Oh. Okay, never mind, I'll get bodied. What? <laughs> Just live the final smash, because that's very easy for you to do. My, my final smash, the explosion, takes up like five eighths of the stage. His final smash summon, like the part that you have to hit to use the final smash, takes up more part of the stage than my explosion does. Or like a bigger part, not more part. That's kind of messed up, actually. Buff Olimar. Go to the other side of the map. There we go. So I'm just trying to knock him over to there. And then we got this. But yeah, as you can see, the challenge is starting to increase. Even though I'm using legendary spirits, like, it's still not an easy fight. Airship theme. Alright, no, no, this isn't the airship theme. This is the fight on the airship. From Super Mario Bros. 3. That was a good game. That game's like under underrated. It's like easily the best 2D Mario game. Because it's insane, like how that's an NES game. It doesn't even look or feel like it should be, but it is. This is just a CD, right? Yeah. Alright, it's not a CD in this game, but in Brawl it would have been a CD. And I think Smash 4 had CDs as well. Kamek. I remember this spirit being slightly annoying, but I don't think it will be now. Okay, let's just use whatever it tells me to. Gotta fight Inklings, I guess that's the problem. Oh wait, they start with the Star Rod? Why didn't I keep... the Anna? Why didn't I keep her? I mean, I guess I got backfield. That's pretty good. Then I can parry. Just use my incredible parrying skills. They're unmatched throughout the entirety of Smash Brothers. Well, that was a bad time for that to be active. That was a bad time for that to deactivate. You like how I just turned around to stop that? We're just trading here. Watch this snipe. I should play Brawlhalla at this rate. That was a two for two game. Right there. Or I guess two for two hits. Do I have Lava Floor Resist? I mean, I have Resist, but I don't think I have Invulnerability like that. I mean, Immunity. 
Not a vulnerability. I'd rather just have immunity rather than resist three times in a row, you know? Floor is lava, the enemy is giant. I also need a giant killer. I do more damage to giant opponents. Those giant opponents are very annoying. Or I think I might even have that, and they're still annoying. That's gotta be a problem for spirits like Metroid. Even though. It's gonna be easy because I have spirits. It's not gonna be the easiest thing in the game or anything. Like, just doing a regular spirits run in hard is much easier than doing Solomar, which is much easier than doing Spiritless in easy difficulty. Which I did it in normal difficulty. And that's still challenging. And I only used one spirit in one fight that was required. And I'm probably gonna do a redemption fight in this run, maybe? I've thought about it some. I'm probably not, but... I just used, like, a spirit pass. And just use it on one spirit. And it was the, um... Giant jet... Or is that fish in the power plant? 169.2%, I believe? After being hit by that, so it's pretty strong. I didn't see what they were at before. Let's see where this takes me. Hmm. You know what we can do is we can just get the reflecting thing, and we can just be immune from it. Let's do by last use, actually, because dark matter should be up here. There we go. And then, yeah, physical attack. Stop using just two. Yeah, there we go. So use one that has three at least. They're not even that good of spirits that I'm using. I'm not even using legendary ones, I'm just using the recommended ones. Or I need a desist ruby killer. Or I mean just Shovel Knight. He's not that dangerous. See look, I can just reflect his attacks and then grab his food. Well, rip Shovel Knight. Weren't even in the game for that long. I've never actually played Shovel Knight, but I want to play it. I just haven't had any way to. Yeah, see, that's all you had to do. Was just get the Franklin badge and let the game play itself. The only reason I was fighting was so I could stay alive during Shovel Knight, but I didn't even have to fight. Um, Lucina, really. It looks like we're gonna get, like, directly at the Giga Bowser fight and be out of time. Well, I mean, I'll do the fight, I guess. I'll go a little bit over time. I usually do. So, I'll do all the spirits that are in here. We're gonna get to 10% today. 10% completion. Let's just get a stupidly powerful spirit and go in to this fight. I believe Akuma's the strongest attack type spirit, as they don't have any slots. So that makes me think that they're strong, because they have to limit themselves. I wonder if I could have done a Pikmin desync up there. If anybody would have been on the platform. Pekka, these things look really cool, but they're incredibly hard to pull off. I've pulled off one Pikmin desync, I think. Oh. Yeah, I should have known that he was gonna jump there. I gotta say, if I hit every single one of these throws after that one, then. That would be insane. I literally just crouched. It was a very advanced mind game that only works on CPU. And snake players. Snake players blow up more than any other character in the game, surprisingly. 
even though they're not supposed to be the ones that get blown up, they still are. Are these all the same strength? No, Lithia Knight's pretty high up there. I wish they had one that didn't boost your sword attack and just boost your physical damage and your defense. So that'd be broken. And then just have Olimar with that build as well. And just regular smash. That's pretty much just him in regular smash anyway. Actually, let me reset because I want to see the cutscene. For the screenshot. I mean, I already have a Giga Bowser screenshot in Spiritless. Melee music. Something tells me I should have got the Franklin badge. How did that not connect at all? I just rolled straight through. Like that. That's all I did. Don't ask me how I didn't break my shield. Okay. There we go. Got payback. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back here, I think. Rethink or rethink our strategy. We're gonna have to use items. I think we use the staff and we jump off stage and shoot them. A bunch. And just have increased item damage. I think that's our strat. They could just properly space out our moves and time our attacks, like what I was doing at the beginning of this fight. Yeah, the eye's not gonna save me there. Okay, so let's go ahead and just boost our attack. Oh. Why didn't it default to change the spirits? Why did it go on the OK button? So I'm gonna try to space out my attacks this time. At least space them up properly. Oh. See, throwing the Pikmin off at the beginning puts me at an immediate disadvantage. Okay, now I'm at 20.6% after running into the forward smash like the genius that I am. Not spacing out. Okay. Oh, that was very poorly spaced because I dash attacked instead of forward tilted. And so then I got stuck in lag and didn't space out my moves. Uh. Fire attack's dumb, but it's even more stupid to just block the whole thing. They just bait and punish. I didn't even match there. Nope. Oh, I rolled into that one. Mash that time. How did that not connect? I guess because I spaced out my moves. See, if you hit him in the tail, then you space out easier. Did you just be reverse that? Trying to forward tilt me to death? I tried to just parry all those hits. Okay, Bowser. King of Bowser. As Charles Martinet says that he said. It's not so long a Bowser, it's so long Kinga Bowser. I still don't hear it every time that I've listened to the audio. I have listened to it a few times, actually. More than you would think. Uh, well, that went well. So yeah, I'd say that we get the staff and we just go off stage and shoot him. It's not a fair fight, but I really don't care. Let's go ahead and get one that boosts our damage and has three slots. So, that being Beast Ganon, we go by skill, actually. Swords, whips, hammers, etc. What about shoot? Okay, so these are shooting here. And then we need um, staff. Or the staff, not staff. There we go. 
Oh yeah, we just got the most broken loadout in World of Light. For this fight. Because it's really easy to space around Bowser. Well, that one well. We got two frame and lost the staff. Now we do like no damage. Mission failed. He's just forward smashing me in the corner because he knows that if he hits it, then I'm dead. Oh, wait, we got impact run. We're good. Okay, so yeah, we just we just dash in and then run. Oh. oh no, I tried to I tried to space. Why did I di in? That's not smart. I could have just died from di poorly, and should have honestly. Like I just run up, stop, and forward tilted, just like he did. Well, he didn't really run. He kind of just walked. Yeah, I di in. I think I would have died either way, if I di'd or not. I do like no damage even with my broken idea. And then I have to lose a bunch of health at the beginning. Hope that ended well. No, why did he drop it? Olimar, why? Why do you do these things? No, it got pushed off the side. That's that's very cool. I literally hit the C stick forward and he just threw it. I I don't understand what I did wrong. really don't. I tried to roll and I should have just stayed a chill. Oh. Yes, my shield can take all of this and be perfectly fine. like one more move then I'm dead. Well, I wasn't wrong. Okay, Olimar, let's try to not throw the staff this time. And then maybe I can do this and finish this castle because I'm way over time. I thought I was just going to do this in one go. Yeah, this time we're not dropping Pikmin at the beginning. I just won't use them. Like, if I forward air off stage, then it doesn't count, obviously, because I didn't hit him with the Pikmin. counts if I hit him. Why did he throw it? Was it like out? So I'm guessing it loses durability based on the damage or the move. Because if that's the case, that's actually kind of dumb. Yeah, this time I got a strat. Strat's not going well. That he's spacing out on me. Trying to hit tipper forward smash. Does Bowser's forward smash usually have a tipper? Kind of Giga Bowser does, being the flame. Or it, it's like it's a sweet spot. I need to reset the. Um. Whatever it's called. Yeah, this spirit fight is very fun. 
There's probably just some way to gimp it, but I can't think of a way. I thought I had a good threat. And you just have this giant, you know, whatever Bowser is. Is he a turtle? Probably not. But he's not, not a turtle at the same time. Well, it was out of juice. Yeah, I'm mixing up my attacks, so that way, whenever I start forward tilting a lot, I will not do stale damage. Instead, I will take stale damage. I am very smart. Yeah, I deserve that. I was playing very stupidly. Hmm. Let's just go for Akuma, honestly. This strat has ended very badly. Every time, so... Akuma looks like the way to go. I wonder if we use him and then we do... Or we just do um, physical attack up all the way. If we'll do more damage with Akuma. Yeah, Bowser just spammed the B button, just like a Toon Link, and a Young Link, and a regular Link, and a Simon Belmont, and, um, well, actually a lot of people, actually. Yeah. Just pretty much everyone in the game, actually. Man, I suck at this fight. Maybe I just need to use the sword, and that way I won't run out of durability, and can steal space. Thank you, Bowser. I was totally not making this fight fair for you. Let's just say there's a reason that I'm doing that. It's about stale moves. Well... I mean, all of his moves have, like, a call-out or whatever. But you can tell when they're about to happen. It's just like you get stuck in the end lag of the previous move. And so then it just doesn't work out. And a lot of his call-outs look the same. But as long as you roll out, then you should be fine. Or you just hold down shield. Or both, like I did there. I am very smart, as I said before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't understand why that did that. I should have started falling, but it said Omar went up. So that put me at a very big disadvantage here. Let's go to the side of the stage. Reset neutral. Up. Or die. Yeah, my my DI is totally non-existent. So I wonder... Okay, so Akuma gives us 1325. And then I hit start, because it defaults to start every time. Because it's a very good design. A few more attempts, and then I'll start being mad, in case you're wondering. Okay, I'm not mad yet. Still got a while before I start to get mad. Why didn't I think of doing this before? It's literally the safest way to recover out of pretty much any character. Hey, if you can go underneath the stage to avoid attacks, then do it. For sure. Okay, we're so good. Thank you, Bowser, for two framing me. Very cool. Two framing is a great mechanic. I mean, I actually like two framing in some scenarios. 
I don't like how some recoveries are easier to two frame than others. I think all of recoveries should have the same two frame ability. Or whatever. Like, Joker's recovery with Arson, for example, is like one of the easier ones to do. Um, Pits. I don't like how some characters can two frame and others can't as well, I guess. I mean, like, I don't mind that other characters can't two frame, but I don't like the fact that, like, Wolf, you can just two frame pretty much every time that you down smash. And then, with other characters, it's very less consistent. I'd rather if you can two frame than just be able to two frame. But don't make it where two framing is free, pretty much. Like, Pit versus Wolf, that's definitely a Wolf game. It doesn't matter if it's the world's worst Wolf player against the world's best Pit main. Kind of like world's best Little Mac versus world's worst Lucina. Lucina's gonna win. Okay, still alive. This neutral B is so frustrating because he just stalls pretty much. Like, I just have to wait. Like, here's another five seconds added to the timer. I mean, I might as well just try and get some up tilts. Add some variety in my list so that way moves start becoming less stale. Oh. Yeah, I was just trying to bait out an attack and punish. But now I'm all the way in the corner. So that's not good. The thing is, I pretty much have all the spirits that I want to use in the World of Light run. So I really don't know what I'm supposed to do against Giga Bowser in the rematch at the end of the game. He was one hit away, but I s buffered out a dash attack by hitting the C-Stick to the right towards him. So, obviously the C-Stick is gonna make me do a dash attack. That just makes a ton of sense. I didn't even hit the left stick. It just did a dash attack. Oh man, this is very fun. Sorry about that. 22.4% up. Fire time. Time to sit inside the shield and wait for seven hours. And that move lasts forever. I hate how you can just do that on like frame two. He does that so fast. I'll be in the middle of an attack and he'll do it. And then I showed it his grab like a genius. Five hundred IQ plays in Smash Brothers. I need to test that strategy out if this doesn't work, which it's probably not going to. See, I just have to wait for him to forward smash. Or do the stupid fireball move and land with Nair, I think. Because if he goes with forward smash, I can punish one forward tilt. I got lucky there. Because if he would have up smash, he could have hit me. Luckily, he just up air. I mean, up special. Up. See, like, his up special and his, um... Frost up special, his forward smash, and I believe his forward tilt as well. Have enough lag for me to punish his forward tilt. But if he does the fire attack, or if he does like jab or whatever, and then I get him too close, or I nair instead of punish with forward tilt, I get, you know, bodied by up smash. Go over here. Fire time. Let's be out his attack. Uh, 
how did that miss? Get on this attack. Oh. I'm so stupid. Why did I think the fire attack would have enough in lag for me to punish it? Maybe because it lasts 700 years. Olimar is so slow, it takes him 700 years to get across the stage and do a forward tilt. So then he could just punish me with all the moves in the game. Simultaneously. Okay, so let me see if I just do physical attack up 700 times in a row what my spirit power is. I mean, 12, 942, and impact runs, not bad. That's bad though. Um, I'm again, it's not that great. Honestly, Metal Face is the way to go. I feel. This has been an hour and it was supposed to be like almost 30 minutes long, so. Yeah, I do like 200 damage every time that I touch him. And that's the only move he could do to hit me, pretty much. Oh, now my metal is gone. I have five seconds of power, I guess. Now it's just gone. Like, I guess Metal Face wasn't the way to go. He literally just start out and do half his health and damage. Like, it's basically like if you get all of the heroes in Legend of Zelda, and then you go fight Calamity again, and like you just get to knock down half his health for free. You still got the fight. Not that Calamity again is a hard fight or anything. Especially in Master Mode. The hard fight in that game is the DLC guy that you have to fight to get the motorcycle. Whatever his name was. I think I was hard. I don't know why I struggled so much with him, but I did. Like, I still wouldn't be done in Breath of the Wild to get the motorcycle. But I got it. One day. But yeah, I suck at this game compared to Breath of the Wild, too. And I have a ton more hours in this game, so it's kind of surprising, actually. Why would I want to be Baby Mario? Ha or why would I want to have Baby Mario as my assist here? Like, explain your reasoning, please. Let's do weapon attack up, and then let's go get the sword. Oh wait, we can just do by last use. And then... Which one of you had the beam sword? Hal Imrick from Metal Gear Solid. The game. And now we can bait all his attacks even easier. Oh, that did like two damage. Luckily I've got enough range to be able to hit him. He stepped just far enough to be able to get the temporary box on that. Yep, I actually saw that coming. Come on. I got an air dodge up, but that wouldn't save me for as long. It wouldn't matter too much. He hit me once, and then I dropped the sword. After not being hit for like seven minutes straight. I think it's his fire attack. Takes, it actually takes up the entire stage. Like, that's not an exaggeration. Like I do with most things, it actually takes up the entirety of the stage. So then you have to go underneath the stage. It's basically what it's trying to show you. Well, 
Just give me my beam sword back. Oh wait, the beam sword's gone, of course. See, so yeah, look, he can reach me all the way from the other side of the stage, because he's literally at the ledge. Why would you do that? And why would he jab there? And his jab fast, like, it's not a slow jab, that's why I wasn't able to react. And then he could just neutral B and cancel it into down special? Okay. Sure. He could just cancel his attacks now. That's cool. That's that's nice. Mm -hmm. I was glad that I was informed that that was a thing. It's not like I haven't been doing this fight for the past 30 minutes or anything. And that could have been very useful information. Not in the slightest. Well, there were the damageless attempt. Okay, never mind. I mean, does that count? Because if that does, if that counts, then um, Celebi might make it easier to do damageless Mortal White. If you don't know what Celebi is, then. Celebi basically makes it where you auto-heal, except significantly better than all the other spirits that make you auto-heal. Skull Kid's not a bad one. He is, um, a primary spirit as well. Oh, I am so good at the game that I barely missed the ledge after having a very well thought out attempt. Like, that attempt was probably my best attempt. And I missed the ledge. I am so good at the game, I might as well just jump off the side now. Man, that's so cool that you can cancel that. And that has no in lag. Look at him do it again, it's not even stale. Now that has some in lag. Are you going to cancel it in a down special? Nope. You're just going to do a forward smash for some reason. Ah, he cancelled it into forward smash. Because that one was short. Whenever he does a short one, completely random by the way, whenever he does a short one, at pretty much any point in time he can do a short fire thing. Whenever he does it, he can cancel it into another attack instantaneously. Although the attack that is after the fire will contain in lag based on the attack. So like forward smash, which is that one, has like the most in lag out of any of its moves, even though it should be down special. But instead, I can't even punish down special because he can cancel the in lag of down special into neutral special. Yeah, I'd say we just keep doing this. It's gonna be slow. Definitely true, or the slowest strategy that I've come up with so far. But I'm still dead. Because I'm so bad at this game. See, like, watch. I could have a spirit that heals me over time, and I would still be stuck here for the next hour. Where's Celebi? Let's do it by name. The spirit is one of the most broken in the game, by the way. Oh wait, never mind. It actually does nothing. That's cool. It literally does nothing. 
five entire percent. I mean, I guess I could just camp him and heal. You want to camp, Bowser? I'll do it. I don't care at this rate. I've got stuff to do after this, though. That I'm 30 minutes late for at the moment. We can just play this game all day. Cancelled the end like a four tilt into his up special. That's a new one. Just nine more heals. Seven more. I mean, I could even air dodge that down, I think, and be good. I mean, air dodging down's good for all of them. It's better than fast falling. If you want to get down quickly, that is. Well, now ten more heals. I guess really nine. Well, never mind that. Now we're back up where we started. Just got hit three times. My bad. Fire thing, you get stuck in it and then you get hit 7,000 times in the face. Cancelled my jump into itself somehow. That's it's. There's no way that that's his up smash. But if it's not his up smash, then why can he charge it? Is that his down smash, actually? Hold on. Because his up smash launches him upwards, and he has a move that does a very similar animation that he can do very quickly. That's his down special, for sure. That's his neutral special. Is the ice move his down smash? I'd have to play on one of the hacked versions of the game, where you can play as Giga Bowser. To find that one out, I think. Just making that move less still. Oh, I think it's still still. It's definitely doing less damage when I started doing it. This spirit's not broken, but it definitely carried me this fight. that you totally outsped my forward tilt with that side special. It's not like he's just Bowser but bigger so his in or so his startup and in legs should be increased at all. To balance out his massive damage increase. That shouldn't be a thing. Because Bowser's such a bad character anyways, right? It's not like he can just kill you off of like three hits with combos. Hold on one second. That's cool. Totally didn't just say I was up one head out of this boss to the person who's expecting me, or has been expecting me actually for the past 30 minutes, and then get hit once for 700%.
just die. And then we gotta go get Peach as well. So that's why I gotta hurry this up. Bowser was going to be a knight here, but now I don't know. Giga Bowser is definitely like 7S tier for sure. 7 times the S's. The thing is, in Spiritless, the boss fight's so easy. But in Solomar, with spirits, it's so difficult to pull off. You just have to camp for the entire game. Which I guess is why I should do solo more and more on the weekends, is because you have to camp so much. And that just means that I'm gonna waste a lot of time camping. So. Because, yeah, I don't have that much time to stream during the week. I only have a lot of time during the weekend. Which is my main problem with streaming. At the moment. Yeah, we fought Giga Bowser. I'm kind of going insane more and more by the second. Let's see, we got 102 skill spheres. Why not? I mean, what was our other option? Hyper Smash Attacks. We can't even do Smash Attacks. Can't do special moves. And Dojo activities are not really going to be affecting me too much, I think. I don't even know how the dojos work, if I'm being honest. Let's go ahead and get Peach. This should be easy. She out camps me. She's actually doing a really good job of out camping me and like pressuring my shield. But I can't really do anything out of shield except short hop there. But yeah, she keeps like poking me with the final hit of down air to force me into shield. And then for my punish, she's um, anticipating it. Like she's anticipating an attack, so she just tries to punish with a counter. Which it works because I really can't do anything else but hit the counter. Like, I literally have no way against Peach as Solomar. I shouldn't win this fight, at least if this were just a one on one. For sure. Not just because Peach is the most broken character in Ultimate or anything, but that's like the main reason. Because Olimar is the second most broken, I think, maybe. He has the potential to be, at least. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything in Bowser's Castle. Fought Giga Bowser for 30 minutes and beat him somehow. I guess with camping, the power of camping. So, let me just make sure that's everything in here. All spirits, at least. That appears to be all. So yeah, next time, we will, um... Are you playing this on Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. So, yeah, I guess this is a good place in the stream. So, I guess I'll see everyone in the next one.